Hi, my name is Richard Zotke. I am a member of the fourth degree and I'm currently serving as the faithful navigator of Our Lady of Holy Hill Assembly 1677. I like people and I like to talk, so I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me to join you here tonight. I hope I don't end up testing your stamina too much. Tonight, I'm going to give you a short overview of the distribution of the Knights of Columbus around the globe, the level of administration, and communication within the organization, the level of knighthood, and specifically details about the fourth degree. All of this comes with the most sincere invitation. I'm hopeful that those of you who are third degree members will join our ranks of the fourth degree. We are the Knights of Columbus, a Catholic fraternity exemplifying the beautiful, protective, nurturing love and empathy of motherhood personified by our universal virgin mother, Mary, as it is expressed through her son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The philosopher Henry Bergson defined love as a divine empathy. As divine refers to God, I suspect that Henry Bergson was referring to our aspirations to reflect the divine love bestowed upon humanity by the Sacred Heart of Jesus. The Knights of Columbus originated as an American institution constituted to provide protection and care to the most vulnerable among us. While aligned with the Catholic Church, the Knights are not governed by the Church, but rather by a board of directors, located in New Haven, Connecticut, who confer, on occasion, with the Church on matters of spirituality. Issues of governance and implementation are communicated back and forth through levels of the organization within the board of directors at the top, reaching down to the levels of local councils. Here I will illustrate on this organizational chart, the, uh, the flowchart of the council's organizational lines. First we have the Supreme Board of Directors, which there are 24 of them. Uh, it goes to a Supreme Council with uh, Supreme Chaplain, uh, Supreme Knight Carl Anderson, Deputy Supreme, Supreme Secretary, Supreme Treasurer, Supreme Advocate and General, Supreme Warden, past Supreme Knight. The Supreme Council has more than 75 state councils organized to help guide and uh, the regional activities that are consistent with the principles of the order. The uh, State Council here in Wisconsin consists of a State Deputy, State Chaplain, State Treasurer, State Secretary, State Advocate, State Warden, Immediate Past State Deputy, and the Grand Knights and Past Grand Knights. Um, from there it goes down to the District Deputies, who is usually in charge of about five councils in his district. He's the representative between Supreme uh, Council and the State Councils on matters that concern, uh, that need to be disseminated to the Councils. The Councils are headed up by a Grand Knight, a Chaplain, a de de Deputy Grand Knight, Chancellor, Recorder, Financial Secretary, Treasurer, Lector, Advocate, Warden, Inside Guard, Outside Guard, and three Trustees. The Knights of Columbus are guided by three basic tenets symbolized by points on the compass. A moral compass, the compass of virtue. Initially, three points were defined charity, unity, and fraternity. At the end of the last century, 
A fourth degree was added, the patriotic degree. The patriotic degree is not superior to the third degree, but is, in fact, a voluntary extension of it. Take a moment, if you will, and imagine inspired, mature knights gathered with their peers on high ground overlooking the sacred kingdom braced with the wisdom gained through service in the first three degrees to honor the ideas of the country of their birth as represented by the banner, the flag of the United States of America. While we are a Catholic fraternity aligned with, but not governed by, the Catholic Church, we are citizens of the United States. Catholics have fought alongside and died along with our brethren of other faiths in this nation's wars. We are patriots. While we extrol and expire to embody the virtues professed by our Church, our allegiance is to the, this Republic, one nation, under God, with liberty and justice for all. We, the fourth degree, honor the flag by ceremoniously retiring tattered flags and donating new flags to be displayed at schools and churches. We honor all our nation's fallen soldiers by placing flags on their graves. Our color corps participates in civic parades and serves as honor guards at funerals, at church ceremonies, and at community functions. As the fourth degree knights are still members of local councils, we assemble as fourth degree knights with our peers from many councils on higher ground to, to, the, to the realm to celebrate national unity. Due to its more universal preview, the fourth degree has been given its own structure of governance and communication. Also recognizing the nature of this degree as an assemblage of peers from diverse councils, the fourth degree organizing structures are referred to as assemblies rather than as councils. Within the council, we refer to our officers as worthy. For example, worthy grand knight, worthy chaplain. Whereas in assemblies, we are, refer to our officers as faithful. For example, faithful navigator, faithful friar. friar. Also, when we are elevated to the fourth degree, we are granted the title of Sir Knight. I will now illustrate on this organizational chart the the flow chart of uh, the organization under assemblies. Also I'll give a brief description of the regalia with the status of rank denoted by color. Then to the Supreme Assembly which is headed by a Supreme Master this Supreme Master uh, has 21 Vice Supreme Masters, which are the Vice Supreme Masters have provinces. Here uh, in Wisconsin, we are under the Marquette Province, which is Wisconsin, Illinois, and Minnesota. From there, uh, it drops down to uh, Wisconsin is divided in two districts, Eastern and Western District, which has a master. And his uh, organizational chart uh, that he's in charge of is uh, he has administrative assistance, district friar. We have a district comptroller, a district, district scribe, a district marshal, a district program director, a district degree team coordinator, and an area coordinator. Now the area coordinator is similar to a district deputy. 
uh, here uh, in the West Bend area, we have uh, we are under District uh, Area Three Coordinator, which is Mark Wagner. He has uh, Our Lady of Holy Hill, uh, West Bend here, Fonchalac Assembly, and Beaver Dam. From there, it goes down to assemblies here at Holy Hill. We have the Navigator, myself, compared to the Grand Knight for the Council. We have a, uh, a friar in the assemblies, whereas in the Council they're called chaplains. We have a captain in the assemblies, whereas in the Council it's called a Deputy Grand Knight. We have an admiral in the assemblies, whereas you have a chancellor. In the assemblies, we have a scribe. In the councils, it's called a recorder. In the assemblies, we have a comptroller, whereas in a council, you have a financial secretary. We have a purser in the assembly. In a council, you have what is called a treasurer. Uh, we have a pilot in the assemblies. In the councils, it's called the warden. We have inside and outside guards, uh, sentinels in the assemblies, and in the council it's card, called guards. And both have uh, trust, three trustees. And finally, uh, we have uh, a color corps commander in the assemblies who's in charge of the honor guard. Now, for the colored regalia, the master wears a dark blue chapeau, which is a hat, and a dark blue cape. As fourth degree knights, we are religiously devoted and patriotically proud. For most men who follow Jesus, there comes a time when duty extends beyond our own lives, beyond how we lead our families, and into how we serve our fellow man. That's what the Knights of Columbus is all about. The patriotic degree allows the Knights of Columbus members to take their service one step further. Sir Knight is more than a title, it's an honor. The time to be a strong role model is now. The time for strong role models have never been greater than now. The time to live, serve, and protect the truth is now. This is what the patriotic degree represents. The patriotic degree is the pinnacle of knighthood. We live, serve, and protect the truth. If you have been a member of the Knights of Columbus for at least six months, have taken the first degree and are now a third degree in good standing, it is time for you to consider reaching even further with your faith. It is time to consider the patriotic degree now. The Eastern Wisconsin District Spring Exemplification is scheduled for Saturday, April 14th at the Milwaukee Marriott West Hotel in Waukesha. I hope to see you there. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them now. It's been a pleasure speaking with you tonight. Again, thank you for your invitation. See me after the meeting to fill out the forum. Thank you again.